We have some interesting news here, courtesy of WWD, regarding Virginie Viard. Virginie Viard. As you know her, Virginie Viard is the artistic director of Chanel. She's now left. She used to be um, Karl Lagerfeld's right-hand woman, and she took over when Karl Lagerfeld unfortunately passed away or was in ill health. And now, unfortunately, she has left Chanel. She has departed. You'd imagine probably fired, you would assume, because they want to change the direction. But let's read the article courtesy of WWD magazine. Virgin Viad, artistic director of fashion collections at Chanel, has departed the company after five years. According to a statement from Chanel on Wednesday, a new creative organization will be announced in due course, said the spokeswoman, uh, said the Chanel spokeswoman. The 62-year-old Viad, who succeeded Karl Lagerfeld, had been able to renew the code of the house while respecting the respective, the her sorry, the creative heritage of Chanel. Viad has been at, with Chanel for 30 years and was a close collaborator of Karl Lagerfeld, who was creative director of Chanel for more than three decades until his death in 2019. Chanel would like to thank Virginie Viard for her remarkable contributions to Chanel's fashion, creativity and vitality, said the Chanel spokesperson. The fall 2024 Hot Couture collection will be presented at Chanel as planned on June 25th at the Opera Ghana in Paris, according to Chanel. So you'd imagine this collection is her last. I don't know if that's true. They haven't really made it clear, have they? This fall 2024 Hot Couture collection is that going to be her last one or is that something that they're doing in-house? I don't know. Just a few weeks ago, Chanel gave Viard a vote of confidence after the French luxury house again delivered record revenues in 2023. At that time, Chanel's global chief executive officer, um, Lina, Lina, Lena, Lena, or as I said, Lina Nair, Lina Nair, and chief financial officer, Philippe um, Blond, Blondus, or Blondeux, Blondiox, Blondu. Um, said the French, the luxury bureau humor plans to maintain both its brand strategy and creative direction unchanged, despite the slowdown in global luxury spending and mixed online reactions to its latest price increase and ready to wear collections. Um, luxury House reported revenues totaled 19.7 billion last year, up 16% at the comparable rates with double digit growth across the categories. Crazy. Sales increased, <clears throat> sorry, sales increased in all markets as tourists returned to many locations while demand for the local customers remained sustained um, after succeeding Lagerfeld Viard had been instrumental in the brand's success in recent years under her watch Chanel's ready to wear business has been multiplied by 2.5 and it grew 23% last year alone Blondeau reported last month from a consumer perspective and a brand perspective Virginia has been a massive contributor continuing on the praise followed a slew of negative social media comments following Chanel's resort show in, in, in Marseille which targeted the younger demographic the show has held on the rooftop of the city radius um corbusier on the damp and blustery day um display had the display had come amid renewed Sorry, the display had come again with new speculation that Hedy Slimane would take over as creative director, a rumor that first surfaced in 2017 and one that Chanel has consistently denied. Other names that have been banded about possible successes of, include Pierre Pablo Piccolio, former Valentino creative director, Sarah Burton, former creative director McQueen. Viard's appointment had marked the first time a female designer had taken the helm at the brand since Gabrielle Chanel herself. Despite having been at the company for more than 30 years, when she took the lead of creative post, Viard had until the time kept up a spotlight and Lagerfeld and Viard had such a close working relationship that once that he once stated she's my right arm and my left arm her own signature look her own signature punk look includes the coal rimmed eyes blunt bangs and all black outfits Viard began what would become lengthy design experiences um, as an intern at Chanel in 1987 she was an intern in Jesus Christ recommended a brand of, um, by the Chamberlain in Prince uh, to the Prince Rinia of, of Monaco she was quickly put in charge of the houses embroidery developing a close professional relationship with Lagerfeld Viard left Chanel for Chloe um, when the designer who previously designed for Chloe from 1963 to 1983 returned to the label Viard then left Chloe with Lagerfeld in 1987 returning to Chanel as a coordinator of Haute Couture in 2000 Viard became a director of Chanel's creative studio where she oversaw the Haute Couture ready to wear and, and accessories collection. She worked closely with Lagerfeld on all 10 collections that Chanel produced that year. Born in 1962, the designer hails from Lyon, France, where her grandparents worked as silk manufacturers. Viard studied theatre design at the Cause Georges and then became the assistant costume designer for Dominique Borg. So, this particular news isn't too surprising, to be fair, um, if you're really reading the tea leaves. 
they did come out recently and made a very bullish kind of defense of Virgin Viard. But usually when those things happen, if you're familiar with football, those votes of confidence are never good. So as most of you guys know, um, the reaction to some of the collections that Virgin Viard did for Chanel online weren't the greatest. And I think that has played a huge part in it. Despite her being a commercial success, business success, um, recently they came out and had a, quite a very bullish defense of Virgin's work and basically said that she's great for business and stuff. The customers love her. You see a lot of people on social media even commenting that the actual people that buy Chanel year in or season in, season out, love her designs. She makes them a lot of money. But unfortunately, nowadays, for designers like Virgin, who be probably pissed that you're getting sacked or you're getting fired, it's a very complex thing to be a creative director or fashion director of a, of a big fashion house or a label or whatever it may be, right? Because nowadays, I feel like you not only have to be commercially viable, you also have to be culturally relevant. You also have to get the clicks, the engagement, go viral, and um, have certain kids wearing your things, whatever it may be, have the influencers at the front row. All those things are just as important as the bottom line. So the bottom line is that the rich, wealthy women around the world who have been buying Chanel long before before virgin was even around are still buying chanel now their descendants are their kids are whatever it may be and they'll continue to there are women who buy fucking you know hundred thousand pounds worth of chanel every fucking season those people are never going to stop in regards to the designers even if fucking demna took over chanel they will still buy that shit every fucking season but they want more they want to be able to have that brand be seen as culturally relevant as like a zeitgeist thing in involved in the cultural zeitgeist similar to what Miu Miu is seeing so maybe the fact that Miu Miu has been at the top of the trends list and the most seen list engaged list hype list whatever it may be has cultural impact you've seen it recently now with them handing out books and fragrances in certain spots around the world and shit all those things are really 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 important so Chanel unfortunately wanted more from her and that respect which she probably was never willing to do because it was all about the runway it was all about the bottom line it was all about designing what is it like six to nine collections a year or something like it's crazy the chanel job might be one of the hardest jobs ever in fashion legit might be one of the hardest ever 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 jobs um but unfortunately for her as well at the fundamental level the clothes just look so fucking ugly like this is her of course wearing you know the stuff that she designs and it doesn't look great right it really doesn't look great she's lying down on this on the steps horrible fucking pose horrible picture um you know one of her bangs is covering her the entirety of her fucking you know left eye but the look itself is just horrendous right the skinny jeans with the mary janes with the heel no with the with the with the flats with the pumps i guess that's got a slight heel on it um with this like i don't know if it's like a jean jacket that's been reversed to have leather with it's like whatever it's just all over the place but the actual designs on the runway like what is this with the denim sleeves like what the fuck is that look even the model herself is like almost in shock that she's wearing this she's almost like startled that she's having to walk down the runway wearing that shit like look what is that what we have here what is this mix what is this what is that skirt? What is that top? What are those flats? What is that hat? What is that makeup? The chains, like, why does it have pockets on there like a hoodie when it's not a hoodie? Like, what is this? Like, what is that one? Like, just horrendous, really, really shocking stuff. So I think the thing that really killed her is that the fact that the stuff on the runway, even though it was selling, the ready to wear, even though it was selling, even though she was obviously, you know, getting, you know, record profits and shit, it didn't matter because the clothes that were coming on the runway were just terrible. And these weren't getting shared on social all the fashion snobs on fashion twitter hated it would always dunk on her whatever she presented it i don't think again i don't think that that would be the reason why they fired her but it doesn't help you know when the people that are talking about fashion the most who are sharing their opinions who are driving that kind of content on a daily basis are saying negative things about the stuff that she's doing and you would imagine because those people are seen as cool maybe that kind of sep spreads and kind of trickles down into the customer base and maybe they think oh this is not the cool brand anymore it might have cachet similar to like a you know a quilted chanel bag but is it cool that's the main thing and nowadays companies want core they want marketing they want social media they want you know certain influencers wearing it just because they like the thing not because someone gave them from free they want it to be featured in a certain show all these things are really important certain artists movie stars they don't have it so all of that stuff is really important and they don't have so unfortunately this is probably the reason why virgin had to go but weirdly enough the chanel stuff when you actually see it worn on people courtesy of this article courtesy of vogue they've got this street style article that features some of it being worn 
it doesn't look as bad as it looks on the runway. It still looks terrible, right? This particular look here, Monaco Resort 2023, um, you know, shocking, right? You see here, I, I, I just don't know what's going on with that bottom half. But some of it looks terrible. Some of it doesn't look too shabby. Some of it really doesn't look too bad when it's actually worn by real people in real life. So maybe she got done dirty because we only saw it you know it's not really the right way to actually think about it because it should look at its best on the runway with professional models who are all model size and shit who are all being worked on by the best stylists and the best makeup artists so if it doesn't look good on here that's a big problem you know it shouldn't really be up to street style people to make you want to buy chanel you know really and truly let's be fair but all these pictures everyone even this jacket that she actually has on this jacket here that I'm seeing in this picture that she actually have on in this picture. It actually looks better on than this person. I'm not gonna lie. It's a sim it's not the same jacket, but it's a similar jacket. But it literally looks better on whoever that person is. So and even that oh look at that little clutch. Or oh, the pearl, it's beautiful. So yeah, it's actually quite nice, I'm not going to lie. Um when it's actually worn by regular people, they actually make it look way, way more way more way more wearable and way more appealing than what you see on the runway but unfortunately that's not enough you need more than that you obviously need more than that so that's why virgin is out that's why she's out and again you see posts here from various people on social basically panning their collection and saying how terrible it fucking looked <laughs> and i think a lot of people on social media especially some of the fashion fans that i follow was super ecstatic it was like the best day ever that christmas had come early for a lot of fashion twitter because a lot of people hate her designs and were just perplexed of why she was still there and then when the stats or when the numbers came out actually a lot of people were like oh shit okay fair enough um she obviously sells and that would kind of guarantee or confirm her job but you know like like in football once you get that vote of confidence it usually means you're about to leave um for the most part so i think she is one of those managers that maybe doesn't have a great style of play just churns out the win like a Jose Mourinho, she wins by parking the bus but unfortunately nowadays managers clubs fans don't want to win just by parking the bus they want to win by playing great football um exciting games exciting goals and winning trophies so they want everything same comes with fashion so i think that was probably her major major fault in that regard but again i could be wrong i really 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 could be wrong